What is going on? I'm Zedmont. We're going to be doing War Factory, but first, if you're looking for a task force that is super, super low level, jump into Kindergarten 9. If you're wondering why Kindergarten 9, we name our task forces T9, M9, S9 based on the first letter. So K9 seemed funny. Dogs, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, once a week, we're getting that 800 point achievement for people who don't have it also just beating tinderbox daily and that is with players who are down in these sorts of levels we are kicking generally one to two people a day based on inactivity trying to keep that task force super duper healthy now you might be asking yourself why would i want to join a task force where people are kicked honestly task forces where people are kicked for not doing anything at all and that's the only reason why people are kicked uh, people come in they want to be on the task force with someone who has youtube for some reason and then they just don't play their account so um, you want to be in a task force where people are kicked on occasion not for no reason but for very good reason keeps the task force healthy keeps it moving forward speaking of healthy and moving forward we are going to jump in and see what we can do on gearheart now, I do not have clone rifles loaded at the moment. We might bring some of them in. You guys are familiar with this layout. There are 50 million sniper towers back there. This laser is going to be an issue if we go right, so we're going to want to deal with that. That CMO is also going to be a bit of a problem. Um, down here, people probably a little bit nervous going down here as a low level. Now, as a max level, we will use clone rifles, so do stick around. We'll have a whole bunch of fun there as well. So for now, we're going to get rid of that rocket launcher and that rocket launcher, and then we'll do some more stuff later on. So easiest way to get anywhere near those both rocket launchers, that was um, strange, strange wording, is drop right in the middle. We're going to flare the right. Make sure you flare after you push the button. That is vital. Now, I wasn't hoping for Everspark to step out of the smoke, but I was prepared for it. That Anytime you're towards the edge of your smoke, you want to have your finger over that smoke button. Now, you'll notice we're right in front of that shock blaster. Don't need critters. Don't need a shock. We have lost the delay, but as long as you're not trying to double hack in front of it, you should be okay. So... Now that that is done, that rocket launcher's health is going to get very, very close to zero. Didn't quite get to zero, but we've planned for that. We're going to throw some GBE right there onto that laser, and as a result, that rocket launcher is no more. So don't throw your gunboat energy on the rocket itself. Just know that that laser itself is going to be gone because we want to clean that up too. So step number one, complete. I am not going to throw any more troops out. Actually, you know what? I lied. Look at this right here. We can throw one boat right here. We are three GBE away from getting that next artillery. Going to pre-click retreat because we don't want our troops to waste any more gunboat energy. And then we are just going to retreat. Not losing any troops, not wasting any more of those buildings, getting some work done. Next attack coming in, this shock launcher on the right hand side, definitely, definitely going to be a bit of a problem. Now, I am very tempted to bring some troops in here because that shock launcher is going to make those hot pots pop up. So what we're going to do is we are going to bring some troops in here. We are going to bring all of our troops in here, not just some. And then... What we are going to do is we are going to poke all of our... Not sure why I used the word poke. Uh, put all of our troops right there. We're going to hit that hack button. Our troops are going to be far enough back, I hope, that all of those hot pots are going to go towards that shock launcher. There we go. Right in there. Now we are going to get rid of these hot pots as best we can. Don't care about the shock launcher at this point. Just want to get rid of that hot pot. That is all... We are after at the moment and then as soon as that goes away we are going to throw the flare on there and then run the heck away as we barrage all of the lasers so didn't get all of our gunboat energy out there but we got rid of two hot pots and the shock launcher now my troops were a little bit close to that hot pot what you could do is put them down a little bit farther away and then once the hack gets 
make the shock launcher activate the hot pot and then flare up to those hot pots. That was fantastic for low level. We've gotten rid of two hot pots and hot pots as a low level suck. So what we can do now is accumulate some critters down here on these factory supplies and then as they move onto this factory supply that hot pot's gonna pop and then we can shock it and the Simo at the same time. So very 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 happy with that attack. That moved us very well forwards. So we're now going to take our boat, or boats, let's use two boats, um, that have the longest time to reload, and we are we are going, oh, did I just skip the wrong one? Okay, there we go. Longest time to reload, that means it's going to take the most diamonds to reload Zookas, and we're going to reload Proto Troops on there. Those Proto Troops, you might not think they're super awesome, but you get... So typically the reason why you use rifle Zooka is that you get two rifles for every one Zooka. Now we're going to get five rifles for every one Zooka. That is a lot of troops shot in the face. If you don't understand that, please hit me up in the comments, but that is invaluable. We are now going to drop all of our troops over into here. Everspark is just going to be pooping out critters to her heart's content. And we're just gonna keep moving over here. We don't wanna go anywhere near that right-hand side, throwing our gunboat energy on that laser, but we're keeping some. The last thing we wanna do is make ourselves gunboat energy poor here. Here come those critters we were talking about, hoping that very, very soon that hot pot is gonna pop. We're covering that uh, shock button right about there. Hot pot pops, it only sees critters at that point. And now we're just going to finish off that laser bit by stinking little bit. Before that shock wears off, we need to get that hot pot popped. Hot pot shocked, I should say. It is early morning here. Uh, getting this video out to you as soon as we possibly, possibly can. And now I'm just going to ignore that Simo. Sure, the Simo can shoot our rifleman. Don't really care. If you look at our Zooka numbers down in the bottom right there, you'll notice that we have not lost a single Zooka. So those clone rifles doing their job incredibly, incredibly well. Now, we're going to shift over to this right-hand side. And the reason for that is that sniper towers kill troops two to three times faster than cannons. We don't care about the cannons. They are just shooting those second or third generation um, clone rifles. We're going to use some GBE to keep those sniper towers shocked and just keep our troops moving on forward. Now, as far as other gunboat energy, I probably should be throwing it on those mortars because mortars are always a bit of a pain in the butt, especially with clone rifles. We're going to have clone rifles moving in. Now, you'll notice we've only lost a handful of clone rifles still, and we've lost zero Zookas. That is exactly what clone rifles are good for. Clone rifles are good at getting shot in the face. Now, they're not awful, awful, awful. They are very much a great support troop, but damage on their own. As soon as you get down to, like, those third generation clone rifles, you're going to start to realize that these guys don't have a ton of damage. But look at our Zooka numbers. We have lost zero Zookas still. We are just cruising through all of this stuff, getting our, as soon as our clone rifle numbers start to get a bit low, we are going to flare on back into here. Now, if you're looking to flex on your task force mates, um, if you're looking to impress people and say, I took this down in two attacks or three attacks, then don't flare back, don't retreat, but what we are trying to do is save as many diamonds as we possibly, possibly can, save our troops, save our gold, and get this thing down as easy as possible. Until Supercell listens and brings in extra intel for taking it down in fewer attacks, I'm going to keep doing it the lazy, lazy way. Now, speaking of lazy, look at that. We have gotten every single achievement except for the final one so do use these clone rifle dudes they are fairly awesome 18 diamonds they're all reloaded and now we can go back and finish this puppy off now i probably should be using eversparks universal remote so that i could hack those mortars as our troops get a little bit closer but uh free critters extra critters not necessarily a bad idea and i think we've got enough gunboat energy where we can get rid of those mortars without a heck of a lot of difficulty so mortars not going to be a concern because we used our gbe fairly wisely last attack and now we just need to move somewhere up into this neighborhood typically there's rocket launchers back there on this base there are none so that definitely helps us out a little tiny bit mortars are gonzo hot pots 
definitely a concern. Do need to be very, very wary of those hot plots. But the fact that Everspark is throwing critters out there means that we can activate those hot plots, get them shocked, and then just get our troops in and burn that core fairly easily. Just keeping the hot plots shocked as our clone rifles and zookas on that right edge start moving on forwards. Need one more building, and we need it very, very quickly here. Not gonna get it, unfortunately, so that hot pot is gonna start melting our clone rifles, but thankfully, the troops have moved in enough. Very, very straightforward war factory, all thanks to those clone rifles. That right-hand side maneuver is likely gonna be the most difficult part. You could even park back in that far right-hand corner, like far, far right-hand corner below all those buildings, hack that shock launcher, and then flare the hot pot after the hot pot has popped up to see the shock launcher. The hot pot for mine popped up because of troops, which was a little bit of an oh crap moment, but my shock was on point, so no issues there. So, straightforward. Now, I talked about task forces. Um, I only talked about K9. Do check the description. We have openings and opportunities at every single level, whether it be Forlorn Hope, whether it be an actual training task force where people take things a little bit more serious. K9 is a 50-member task force. We don't tend to have 50-member task forces, but in K9, there's no rules. You can have green statues, you can use tanks, you can do whatever silliness your heart content. And uh, down goes War Factory. We will now quickly pause here. I'm going to show you my statue details here. I don't even remember how many attacks that was. Was that four or three? Today, four attacks. Four very, very straightforward attacks. No troops lost. No troops... Oops, some troops lost. Um, no troops lost. Some troops lost. Very minimal. Very minimal. No Zookas. And then getting Gearheart down with a couple Zookas lost, likely to that hot pot. Skipping over the speed serum music today. Well, you're in the shop getting those free March Ahead tokens right there. Do make sure you throw code ZMOD in there. Otherwise, let's get going. Um, I have been using this troop combo a little bit just for the lulls, and that is one, or sorry, two boats bombardiers with many, many, many boats clone rifles. I am going to bring in... I want to bring Brick just for the sheer ridiculousness of it, bringing in battle orders, and let's just go with zero planning, zero forethought. Um, we're going to barrage the rocket launcher just because I don't really want to deal with that to start with. Dealing with a rocket launcher and a shock launcher to start with, probably not our best bet. We're going to throw that right there, and now that we can shock all of those things, let's get our troops rolling. Now that's the beautiful thing about having a max level account, or even an above HQ20. As soon as you hit HQ20, things change. The fact that you can activate that hot pot without having to get close to it just makes things so, so, so much easier. I have wasted a ton of gunboat energy at the moment. We are going to be super duper gunboat energy poor in about 3, 2, very soon. Not quite one now, but that hot pot right there and we need to flare that need to get a battle orders because it needs to go down very very soon otherwise we're we're just going to be absolutely melted hot pot versus clone rifleman i believe cosmic duo had a video in the box showing uh clone rifleman against a microwaver anytime your clone rifleman get fast it's that pop 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 dr t was talking about way 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 back when and now just to make sure that we're not near that bottom rocket launcher, we are going to flare up. You'll notice that clone riflemen don't follow the flare. They don't got time for flares. They are just brainless zombies looking for buildings to shoot, and so they do not follow flares. That is the easiest way to tell which one you're looking at, and now I just realize that laser is going to be a massive, massive problem. So we're going to start throwing gunboat energy towards that laser and that rocket launcher, hoping that we can somehow, some way, get rid of that thing. Otherwise, we're going to have a very, very bad time. I was trying to save gunboat energy, thinking that... The hot pots that are coming are going to be a bigger issue, but that laser is a massive problem for us. So we should be able to get rid of it just like that. Our bombardiers are going to be in behind. Should be able... Look at this. See the hot pots versus clone rifles? Just not a fair fight. Not even close to a fair fight. But we've got enough bombardiers in behind that we should be able to burn that core. It's going to be very, very close. I am going to hold out for a barrage because that barrage should 
help us get down that rocket launcher right there if we can get one more stinking building. Come on, one more building. Need one more building. There we go. Do we have any clone rifles? We have like three level three clone rifles left. We've got some bombardiers getting us some gunboat energy. We're trying to burn that core. Was three clone two boats bombardiers enough? It's going to be a super duper tight race against that shield going down. But uh, we're just going to have to wait and find out. As those two bombardiers there are still farming gunboat energy, I should have flared that core a little bit. So if, if we end up being a tiny bit short on gunboat energy, you know why we failed. Straightforward though, lost a lot of troops, lost every single clone rifle, which is almost a goal to be completely honest. Move, losing all of them is fairly darn awesome. Now, we're going to get at least 18 gunboat energy. Actually, we're going to get exactly 18 gunboat energy when and if that shield pops, and that is not going to be enough to get us a battle order, so I'm just going to throw some critters some... Actually, I guess it'll get us one artillery. Yay. Not even get, we're going to be one GBE short for a barrage. Should be very, very, very close. Come on. We're going to throw that last artillery there, hoping that this goes down. Also going to throw out those critters just because they might do like one extra damage. Down to the final seconds. Oops, I wasted a bombardier shot on that hot pot. Please don't. There we go. Six seconds left. Down goes War Factory. Super amazing pro level strat solo. OMG. Let's go. Sorry, I just can't do it. The enthusiasm required because that was super duper simple. Um, anyways, that is War Factory for today. Like I said, we have got many, many, many task forces for you. Getting all of the diamonds, making sure that people are getting all of the achievements, and generally just having a darn good time playing the game, which is what it should be from the start. Anyways, that is all for me. If you have questions, comments, if you need your 800 point achievement, do join us. I don't care if you come in for one op and then leave. Happy to help you get those free diamonds. Uh, come in, give us a couple intel, maybe attack, get that achievement, and then be on your merry way. I shall talk to you soon. As always, I am Zedmot. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if it's sunny where you are, what your plans are for the long weekend. If you have a long weekend, this weekend is uh, Victoria Day in Canada, celebrating that remote monarchy that we don't really think about all that much. So I am off on Monday. Otherwise, I shall talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmot. Peace!